She was a sprightly grandmother who didn't consider herself an elderly person, but 74-year-old Catherine Rogers' life came to a sudden end. Catherine had back pain and for 18 months took 10 milligram morphine sulfate tablets to help her sleep. Then in November 2005 at this medical surgery, Dr Salhuddin Malik wrongly wrote a prescription for tablets 10 times the correct strength. That night she took her tablets and was ill all night. And we didn't discover until the morning that her tablets were actually 10 times the dose they were supposed to be. So she'd taken 200 milligrams instead of 20. And we learned afterwards that that was the dose that they give for palliative care for cancer patients. So it was way too strong? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The overdose triggered a fatal heart attack. Catherine Roger died the next morning. Rena Brady and her three brothers wanted a fatal accident inquiry but were turned down by the Crown Office. They took legal action against Dr Malik and pharmacist Andrew Nixon, who dispensed the drugs at the neighbouring pharmacy. They admitted negligence, but not that the drugs they prescribed were what killed Mrs Roger. Those representing the doctor and pharmacist admitted negligence. They then went on to argue that Mrs Roger was an old woman with a weak heart who was due to die anyway. This was to avoid having to compensate the family for their loss, but flew in the face of what the post-mortem report had already established. The family had to obtain a report from a cardiologist who found that if she hadn't taken the morphine that night, she wouldn't have died. In fact, the cardiologist stated that Catherine Roger could have reasonably expected to live for another six years. Craig Miller, STV News.